Many Canadians know that our country has the longest coastline in the world. Well known, less well known is that Canada is home to roughly half of the world's lakes and roughly 10% of the world's wetlands. Canada is seeing the impact that industrial and residential development and climate change is having on our water resources. We are seeing the re-emergence of pollution hotspots like Lake Erie and our own Lake Simcoe is struggling. The Insurance Bureau of Canada notes that since the 1970s, there has been a massive 250% increase in natural disasters, including floods and drought, that are likely related to climate change. And so the question for the candidates tonight is this. What should the federal government do to reduce water pollution, increase water conservation, and reduce the risk of flood events which have been aggravated by industrial development and climate change? Creating a Lake Simcoe fund, um, well, the provincial government is gutting the conservation authorities, it will be difficult to move forward if there's nobody to actually implement that fund. Um, and more importantly, if the temperature was up one and a half degrees, that cold water ecosystem fails. There's not only dollars you throw in there, it fails. You have to solve climate change, you have to take care of the worst the possible impacts if you're going to deal with protecting Lake Simcoe. So it's, there's a, it's a connected, right? It's all connected. So we have to do the effort. We don't put our heads in the sand and um, pretend nothing's happening. We deal with it head on, honestly and openly, and deal with these issues um, that need to be done. There are um, issues in this riding. There are recycling compost facilities being installed. There are aggregate pits being put in. There are developments in Horseshoe Valley that are going forward all of which are not considering the water. They're not looking in the aquifers, they're not paying attention, and that is a major problem. And it's water first, people, water first, and you prove you're not gonna impact that water before you get a chance to go forward. You don't go, oh, soup, I did it after, and the, the water's all gone. That's not how we do our water. In, in Canada, we need to protect the water and think about it first. If you wanna uh, deal with the, um, Flood risks, we have to imagine 100 year storms are now 10 year storms and deal with them and change our infrastructure to expect that stuff. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Click below for more content. Hashtag Green Party Marty. Send in your comments, like it, share with your friends. We need everybody to know that we can win in this riding. We are listening to you.